And now, worldwide viewers and Supreme Master Ching Hai, we have a special surprise for you. Huh? The NGOs in Jeju have started something very important and meaningful. Let's now hear the exciting news from Mr. Yi Yongjun, a policy chairperson of the Jeju Coalition for Children's Health. Mr. Lee, would you share the news? Yes, thank you. Today's conference, we want to make a more personal action to make a more personal action. In the past year, the Education Act was passed by the Education Act of the Education Act of the Education Act of the Education Act. 그리고 지난 9월 4일 날 IPCC 권고에 따라서 주일 내 유기농 비건 채식 운동을 실천하겠다고 선언을 냈습니다. 그리고 내년 5월 달에 지방자치 선거가 있습니다. 이 세계를 묶어서 우리는 무언가 좀더 희망을 만들어야 됩니다. 제주도를 위해서 그리고 전 세계 지구촌 식구들과 연대를 위해서 그것은 우리 모두 가슴 속에 가, 가질 책무라고도 봅니다. 12월 달에 범시민사회 협약을 체결하게 하려고 주, 준비 중입니다. 아이 건강과 농촌 회생을 묶어서요. 거기서 최소한 주 1회 비건 채식은 우리가 관철해야 될 사항일 거고요. 내년 지방자치 선거에 지사 후보와 교육감 후보 그리고 도의원 후보들이 아이들 건강과 농촌 회생 더 나아가서 지구온난화에 대한 과제를 정책으로 내놓도록 우리가 2004년 했던 것보다 10배, 20배의 노력이 필요합니다. 2004년 노력이 친환경 학교 급식 지원 조례 노력이었죠. 아마 그런 노래가, 노력이 우리 모두 함께 해야 될 거라고 생각 들어집니다. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful, beautiful news. Oh, I like this kind of surprise every day. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jiju. Thank you. Thank yes, you. indeed. It is great to see Jeju setting a shining example of becoming more vegan for the whole world to follow. And the quickest solution wow. for climate change is for all of us to adopt a vegan diet. So the courageous NGOs here in Jeju are helping to save our planet. Yes, history yes. is being made here this evening by the 49 noble NGOs of Jeju. Thank you, thank you so much, all the NGOs of Jeju. Thank you. God bless you. Kelly, would you like to introduce these 49 amazing organizations to the world? I'll be honored to. First, educational NGOs. We have 지역사회 어머니회, 참교육 전국 학부모회 제주지부, 학교 운영위원장 협의회, 전국 공부방 제주 네트워크, 제주 생태보육 협회. 제주 어린이집 연합회, 제주도 가정 위탁 지원 센터, 제주도 교원 단체 총 연합회, 전국 교직원 노동조합 제주 지부. And for environmental NGOs, we have 고자와 사람들, 제주 환경 운동 연합, 제주 참여 환경 연대, 제주도 의제 21, 환경과 생명을 생각하는 교사 모임, EM 환경 센터, 녹색 제주 연구소. And for health NGOs, we have 공공서비스노조 의료연대 제주지부 친환경 우리농산물 학교급식 제주연대 제주생활협동조합 자연치유 시민모임 제주도 영양사회 누리로닷컴 제주도 약사회 한살림 제주 생활협동조합 Now moving on to agricultural NGOs we have 제주도 친환경 농업단체 연합회 전국 여성농민회 총연합 제주연합회 흑살림 제주도 연합회 한국농업경영인 제주도연합회, 전국농민회 총연맹 제주도연맹, 천주교 제주교구 우리농촌살리기 운동본부, 제주특별자치도 농협 친환경 장목반 협의회, 제주지역 농업발전연구소. Last but not least, the remaining organizing NGOs we have 전국민주노동조합 총연맹 제주본부, 제주YMCA. 
제주경실련 제주문화포럼, 제주여민회, 제주흥사단, 신지식인연합회, 여성인권연대, 사회복지공동모금회, 제주사회복지협의회, 제주장애인자립생활환경연대, 생활, 제주주민자치연대, 한국장애인연맹제주DPR, 탐나자치연대, 제주, 제주도장애인총연합회, 제주대한연구공동체, These are the NGOs who organized today's conference and have taken initiative in creating a green planet for our children. To viewers in the audience, let's give our warmest applause for these absolutely beautiful NGOs who are helping to save the world. Yeah. Come down, Nita. Come down, Nita. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. And Mr. Yi Yong Jun here on the stage has played a major role in implementing the vegan initiative. And he has a question for Supreme Master Ching Hai. Mr. Lee, please ask your question. Welcome. <laughs> 오늘 과학자 전문가들이 모여서 다양한 토론을 했는데요. 칭하이 무상님 사님께서는 현재 지구의 상황이 어떠하다고 보는 보시는지 궁금하고요. 기후 변화 관련 가장 최근의 소식으로 희망적인 것과 매우 심각한 게 무엇인지 알고 있으면 좀 말씀 부탁드리겠습니다. 안녕하세요, Mr. Lee. Thank you for what you have been doing, you and all the NGOs for this conference as well as all the NGOs in Jeju who has helped to save our planet. I am very touched by your obvious dedication to children's health through your profession and that you seek to bring them the highest level of vitality and happiness through the vegan diet. Uh, as uh, we have mentioned early already, this is the best and most effective way to heal the planet. So this work that you do on behalf of the future generations is already smiled upon by heaven and thanked by the earth. Since you ask about how I see the current situation of our planet, I have to tell you honestly that I do see it as being very, very urgent. I am sure you will agree. I am sure many others will agree. And I, of course, agree with the esteemed scientists who so generously gave their time to speak today about uh, the impacts of climate change as well as the solutions for it. As Dr. Pachori reminded us, the effects of global warming are already being felt on a daily basis by the vulnerable throughout the world, the poor and the helpless already, the children in every corner of our planet. So it is an urgent situation indeed. In fact, some scientists are now saying that without more ambitious, uh, courageous and uh, unprecedented emission-stopping goals than what many nations currently have in place, our globe will soon exceed a two-degree temperature increase, which means disaster for life on Earth. Regarding your question about updates, Mr. Lee, I would say that the most serious one is the frightening prospect of runaway global warming. The frightening aspect that nations will not do enough to stop it. This has been described by scientists as the conditions that will trigger out-of-control climate change effects. Thus, spiraling the world into the catastrophe of massive greenhouse gas release. This runaway warming of the climate could easily be caused by melting permafrost, which is the frozen soil extending across the vast expanse of the Arctic tundra. As the permafrost melts, it releases methane stored underground. Since 2007, scientists have seen more and more evidence of methane from permafrost melt 
which recent discoveries of pure methane gas bubbling up from the bottom of Arctic lakes in both northern Canada and Russia. This situation is so alarming that six national laboratories in the U.S. are now evaluating it, along with Russian scientists and the UN Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, where Chairman Dr. Pachori has referred to the potential for abrupt, irreversible climate change from the melting permafrost. This irreversible effect we want to avoid at all costs, Mr. Lee, especially since it may not be as far away as we would like to think. But uh, let's end with the other update you asked about, the most hopeful one. I would say the most hopeful is that more and more people are becoming aware of the real solution, which is to be veg. You have heard some of the scientists today, such as Dr. Pachuri and Mr. Jupe Lewis, also talk about the importance of doing so. The more people who eliminate meat and indeed all animal products from their life, the more we have a chance to save the planet. And not only that, to actually restore our earthly home to her original grace and beauty, and even more so, more than what we have known more beautiful, more abundant, more peace, more gladness than what we have known up to now. And there will be more incredible inventions to come if our earth restores itself and leading a life of compassionate, uh, merciful and peaceful existence with all beings on this planet. So please be a part of the solution and join in first by being vegan yourself and helping to spread this message as much as quickly as possible. You know, be veg, go green, save the planet. And please regularly check out www.suprememastertv.com for updates on the current uh, climate situation. You see, there's no need to ask me about my intuition or what I see inside through meditation. We can determine the knowledge about uh, our climate problem as well as the future of our Earth by studying the fact, the data and the evidence from the scientific standpoint. But Mr. Lee, I still have much hope, Mr. Lee. I have very positive, hopeful feeling. I still have it. I don't give up on our home yet. I feel that the world is changing. I feel that the leaders are listening. I feel that the people of the planet want to save their home. I feel, I feel, I feel that they love their children. I feel they were, I feel that they, they would do something to save the children. I, I'm working with you and everyone else who cares about the planet to bring this hope into realization. I don't have children, Pazi, but I love all the children. And my, my positive feeling <laughs> doesn't leave me yet. Although I see the change, it's too slow for my liking, but I still have very great hope, Mr. Lee. Please pray with me, pray with us, so that the whole planet people wake up in time, in time, to save everybody. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank you. I I'm sorry. I'm quite emotional. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai, for this very touching response. Yes, and we also share your compassion. Our next question is for Dr. Gregor, and this question is from Reverend Kim sang the President of Jeju Consumers Cooperation and Director of Jeju Alternative Institute Community. It will be answered by Dr. Michael Gregor. 
Reverend, please share your question. 현재 어, 제주 독감이 전 세계적으로 어, 큰 문제가 되고 있는데 앞으로 돼지 독감 외에도 새로운 질병이 예, 생겨날 수 있다고 생각합니다. 그렇다면 우리 자신을 지키기 위해선 면역 체계를 강화시키는 길밖에는 없다고 생각하는데요. 특히 우리 어린이들은 어른들보다 면역력이 약하기 때문에 더욱 보호가 절실합니다. 어린이들의 면역 체계를 강화시키는 최선의 방법이 무엇인지 그리고 가족과 시민 단체 그리고 정부에 대한 조언도 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you for the timely question, Reverend Kim. Dr. Greger has specially answered it. Let's watch it now. Well, to prevent future pandemics, we must end the industrial production of animals for food. Or even better, as a recent editorial in the official journal of the largest organization of public health professionals on the planet advised, uh, cease eating animals altogether. And in terms of protecting ourselves during the current pandemic, we've known for 20 years that the immune function of those eating vegetarian is actually superior to those eating meat. First published in 1989, a research at the uh, German Cancer Research Center uh, found that although vegetarians had the same number of these immune system white blood cells compared to meat eaters, the white blood cells of vegetarians were twice as effective in destroying target cells, either cancer cells or virus infected cells. So eating a plant-based diet, a vegan diet, may protect us not only for the future pandemics, but the current pandemic as well. Thank you, Dr. Greger. It was a very informative and inspiring response. Our next question is for Dr. Hwang Sung Soo, and the question is from Ms. Ji Gum Suk, Vice Chairperson of Jeju Kindergarten Association. 반갑습니다. 최근 농약에 오염된 식품이나 환경 오름음 또 식품 첨가물 등에 의해서 아이들의 건강이 많이 위협받고 있고 또 ADHD 즉 주의력 결핍 과잉 행동 장애와 같은 아동들이 급속히 늘어나고 있습니다. 어, 이러한 식습관으로 인한 어, 이런 문제들에 대해서 이것을 방지할 수 있는 방법이라든지 또 자연 치유 방법 이런 것들이 있으면 좀 소개해 주시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. 네, 저 아기를 어, 아이들을 둔 부모님 같으면 당연히 어, 걱정이 되는 그런 문제라고 생각이 됩니다. 어, 우리 사람 몸은 어, 적응력이 있다는 어, 특징이 있습니다. 그래서 아무리 나쁜 어떤 어, 이 원인에 대해서도 어, 반복이 될 때는 어, 처음에 불편을 느끼다가도 어, 나중에는 별 대수롭지 않게 느껴지는 느낌이 없어지는 그런 상태로 이, 되어버리는 몸의 특성이 있습니다. 아, 이 특성은 나쁜 것에 잘 적응을 한다는 아, 아주 어, 이, 불리한 그런 점으로 생각이 됩니다만 또 어, 좋은 습관에 길들여지는 아, 또 좋은 측면이 있다고도 이제 보여집니다. 우리 사람의 습관은 제2의 천성이라고 어, 부르기, 부르기도 하는데요. 그럴 정도로 어, 습관을 고치기는 매우 힘들다는 그런 의미로 예, 예, 저 제가 이해가, 이해가 됩니다. 어, 이제 말씀하신 그 MSG든지 또 환경 호르몬이든지 여러 가지 그 식품 첨가물들이 어, 아이들의 그 행동, 사고 등을 어, 많이 어, 이제 변화시킨다 하는 것은 우리가 뭐 익히 잘 알고 있는데요. 그런 것들을 어, 방지하는 방법이라는 뭐 묘안이야 어디 있겠습니까? 그것을 어, 접하지 않고 이 섭취하지 않는 그런 방법뿐이라고 생각이 됩니다. 어, 그러기 위해서는 어, 아이들 대상으로 꾸준하게 그 해로움을 어, 이해를 시키고 또좀 음, 규제를 하고 또 그러기 위해서는 아이들뿐만 아니라 이 부모들이 어, 그것이 얼마나 해롭다 하는 것을 알도록 부모를 대상으로 하는 꾸준하게 이제 교육을 어, 어, 시키고 그뿐만 아니라 그런 것들을 만들어내는 생산 과정을 어, 근원적으로 차단할 수 있는 어, 그런 어떤 법이든지 아니면은 어, 이 압력을 넣어서 어, 이 아이들이 그런 어, 것들이 들어있는 식품들을 
접하지 않도록 아니면 접할 수 있는 기회를 줄이도록 하는 그런 이제 노력도 병행해야 되지 않겠는가 하는 그런 이제 생각을 가집니다. 그런 것들이 이 자라나는 세대들이 앞으로 건강을 유지하는 데 아주 기초부터 무너뜨리는 아주 심각한 문제라는 데는 뭐 누구나 다 동의를 하실 겁니다. 그러나 이게 이 생각보다는 훨씬 더 많은 문제를 익힌다 하는 것들을 좀더 심각하게 생각했으면 좋겠는데 지금 그렇지 못한 게 현실이고 해서 좀 많이 딱하고 그렇습니다. 뭐 방법은 모두가 거기에 대한 어떤 각성을 해서 어, 가정에서 또는 학교에서 또는 사회적으로 힘을 합쳐서 그런 것들을 방지해 나가는 뭐 그런 방법 위에 별로 있겠는가 하는 그런 생각을 가져봅니다. 감사합니다. And our next question is for Supreme Master Ching Hai. And it comes from Mr. Chua Yong Chal, the award-winning journalist of Jeju Sori. Mr. Chua? 네, 최근 한국에서는 메가 스네미를 다룬 그 해운나라는 영화가 큰 선풍적인 인기를 끌었었습니다. 그 지구 온난화에 대한 그 자연의 재앙을 경고한 영화인데요. 그 영화 밖 현실 세계에서도 지금 매우 심각한 기후 변화의 재난을 앞두고 우리 시민 사회라든지 정부가 경각심을 가지고 그 적극 대처해야 될 때라고 생각을 합니다. 당장 우리가 일상생활에서 실천할 수 있는 지구 온화나 대응 방법을 한 우선순위로 한 다섯 가지만 먼저 꼽아 주시고요. 그리고 언론의 역할을 할까요? 미디어의 역할에 대해서 좀 조언 좀해 주시죠. 반갑습니다. Thank you for your question. Thank you for coming to this beautiful event. Congratulations on your media award. which you truly deserve. He has many, many awards. He's an awarded journalist. He's a very famous journalist. So I congratulate him. Uh, nice to hear of your commitment as a media member in the matter of global warming, which is uh, indeed very important. You have a unique opportunity to be able to make a positive difference in people's lives. as a journalist. As you have asked, I can surely list the top five priorities in facing climate change, beginning with the most important. They are, number one, be veg and preserve all life, including the environment. This means a lifestyle free of animal products, eliminating meat and dairy, and consuming only plant-based food is the biggest and most significant change anyone can make to address global warming. And it works, it really works. Especially now that the scientists are saying that uh, the methane and other gases from livestock raising are responsible for more than 50% of all global warming. So if we want to stop the most contributor of our global warming, then we have to stop meat production. It's very simple and logical and scientific. Besides that, we also know from science that methane traps something like 72 times more heat than CO2 in the atmosphere. But the good news is that methane is shorter lived, so if we stop producing it, this gas will disappear quickly from the uh, atmosphere, unlike carbon dioxide, which can last for thousands of years. Besides, stopping 50%, I mean even more than that, this is just a very conservative estimate. There are many more other crucial benefits. It solves our water scarcity problem, our world hunger crisis, and land degradation and pollution problem. If you compare to a vegan diet, a meat diet uses up to 17 times as much land, 14 times as much water, and 10 times as much energy. Imagine, we produce enough cereals to feed the entire human population over abundantly, yet 1 billion people are hungry and 10.9 million young children die every year. 
That's one child dying every five seconds. While we have abundance of food to feed all the world population and more, two times over even. On the other hand, about one billion people suffer obesity and related diseases from eating too much or too much meat. Korea has to import pig feet, costing hundreds of billions of won. That is hundreds of millions of US dollars each year. This is not to talk about the suffering of the 10 million pigs and several millions of cows in Korea each year as well. So there are many, many practical reasons to be veg. Aside from the compassionate nature that is cultivated by preserving our life, this is important too. But if people just start with the vegan diet, the care for all life will also come by the way. Number two, be green. These are actions to protect the environment, such as planting trees, uh, developing sustainable energy, and driving hybrid cars, etc. Of course, this includes the green diet, the vegan diet. Eh? Mm. Number three, be frugal, meaning don't use more than what we need and appreciate what we have. The resources nature has given to us are precious and limited. We can't abuse it. Because only when we spend wisely will they last. Number four, do good deeds. This means be considerate, thinking about and doing things for others which make them happy. And being kind to both humans and animals co-inhabitants. Number five, pray. Pray fervently. This is also very important. Pray to heaven, to all the Buddhas, to God, to all the angels, who are helping to awaken us, praying to all the animals that we have harmed and tortured, directly or indirectly, by consuming meat. Pray for their forgiveness. Pray for heaven, protection, and forgiveness as well. Pray all the gods to help awaken us on time to save our home. We have to pray sincerely and act swiftly. We truly cannot do this by ourselves alone. We must repent for all the harm done to the earth and her inhabitants and ask again and again for forgiveness. And we have to reverse our action. And the best way to repent is to make an effort to change. Turn around, do what is good. Refrain from all what is bad. Mr. Joa. These things are so easy to do. Truly, they are easy. Even children can do it. And they are sure to make a difference. I have mentioned many times in the past how impressed I am with the Korean people's strength and sincerity. If all the brave-hearted Korean people join in and just follow number one, be veg, your country would be transformed in no time. All the anxiety about global warming would fade because you would be assured of protection and would also be free of the dangerous hormones that are transmitted through meat eating for yourself and for your tender, fragile children. These potent hormones like adrenaline is present in the flesh of all the animals because, like us, they panic upon knowing they will die. When adults or children ingest it, they feel restless, anxious, afraid. To eliminate this element from Korean life would immediately have a calming effect, I guarantee you. So, Mr. Jua, please tell as many people as you can through your profession and otherwise to be veg, to do good, and be good and save our planet. Be the fine example for the world. This is exactly the role the media should have, like that of the true honest friend to human society, warning everyone of any harmful situation, bringing new connections 
and data to light, like the urgent link between meat and global warming, giving chances for people to choose a better way of life and being a brave voice, a heroic voice, especially for the voiceless, including animals who suffer so much, so much, because we are all related and affected. The world needs the media's noble service and leadership. So please, again, once more, I ask you and all the courageous journalists to do what you do best. Tell the truth about how we are to save the planet. Kamsa Amnida. Thank you. God bless you. And by the way, if you ever need any more up-to-date info and you're too busy to get into the internet, please check out our website www.suprememastertv.com for the SOS for the latest facts and figures. God bless you. Thank you, Supreme Master Ching Hai, for those five priorities of be veg, go green, be frugal, do good deeds, and pray. Mm -hmm. And it's strongly advised to put those five priorities into action at once. We now know that an organic vegan diet is the key to halt climate change. And our next question is related to that topic. It is for Mr. Lee Chung Hong here on stage to answer. And the question comes from Mr. Kim Yong Ho, the chairperson of Jeju Hukseul Lim Association, an organic farming organization. Yes, Sinkiwa 네, 질문 감사합니다. 사실은 이게 친환경 농업이라는 게 오늘 한 내용이 뭐냐면 약간 일반적인 상식과 반대되는 이야기를 좀 하다 보니까 친환경 농업이라는 것을 함, 이라는 것 속에서 이야기를 하면서 결국 기존의 어떤 친환경 농업이 뭔가 새로운 요소가 있어야만이 된다. 근데 여기서 가장 저희들이 봤던 거는 뭐냐면 어, 기존의 위생이라는 관념이 바뀌어야 된다는 것을 느꼈습니다. 어, 사실 이 친환경 농업을 하기 위해서 실천도 많이 하고 이러지만은, 어, 중요한 거는 상호 이해가 필요합니다. 오늘 참 여기 이 자리에 와서 참 좋았던 거는 저도 언제나 늘 환경 쪽 관련 일을 하면서 지구 온난화 문제, 에, 지구 사막화를 어떻게 풀 거냐 이런 문제인데, 어, 채식이라는 게 훨씬 더 실천적으로 할수 있는 것이다라는 거에 참, 어, 흥미롭게, 저기, 저는 참, 조, 음, 좋게 생각합니다. 그리고 또 이제 그러면서, 아, 또 하나는 유기물이 아까 썩는다는 표현을 했는데, 부피하는 것을 막는 기술이 또 온난화에도 중요하구나. 즉, 어, 부피한다는 거는, 어, 유기물이 무기물로 변하는 겁니다. 그때 변하는 무기물이 뭐냐? 암모니아, 뭐 이산화탄소, 황화수소, 뭐 이런 관련된 어떤 온난화와 관련된 물질들이거든요. 근데 그것을 발생시키지 않는 어, 기술이 이 세상에 있냐? 없다고 합니다. 지금까지는. 근데 저는 언제나 이야기합니다. 왜 우리가 늘 먹는 김치를 이렇게 생각을 오랫동안 안 해봤지? 김치는 그게 일어나지 않고 묵을수록 좋다고 하는데 진짜 위생적이고 과학적으로 만든 요구르트는 지금 날씨에 한 두세 시간 있으면 썩어버립니다. 좋은 균만 들어갔는데. 근데 왜 김치는? 실제로 대장균도 들어갑니다. 그래서 많은 학자들이 대장균을 찾기 위해, 죽이는 성분을 찾기 위해서 굉장히 노력을 했습니다. 근데 지금까지 못 발견하고 있어. 죽이는 관점이거든요. 그럼 살리는 것을 통해서 균들을 위생, 이, 어떻게 이제 미생물들을 죽이지 않고 같이 살수 있느냐 이 문제의 답이 저는 오늘 발표해서 우리 발효식품에 굉장히 많은 답이 있다 그리고 이걸 체계화하고 이런 것들이 필요하다고 생각합니다 그래서 이러한 것이 발전 발달하기 위해서는 이런 기회들도 좋은 기회고요 
진짜 한, 어, 허심탄회하게 이야기를 해야 됩니다. 아, 그거는 책에 없는 이야기. 뭐 이런 식의 이야기가 아니라는 겁니다. 지금 우리나라의 발효 식품이 갖고 있는 의미 다시 한번 해고 지금 신종플루나 이런 질병 문제도 어떤 의미에서는 새롭게 바라봐야 됩니다. 우린 먹던 김치도 다시 집어넣잖아요. 놨다가 먹죠. 네. 그런 것은 뭐냐면 유해균이 있더라도 없어지는 체계를 만들 수 있다는 거거든요. 이게 바로 우리가 새롭게 위생을 바라보고 친환경 농업 다시 한번 생각을 해야 되고 이런 부분에 대해 속에서 나는 저는 친환경 농업이 더 확대될 수 있을 거라고 봅니다. 지구 온난화 방지를 위해 전 인류가 채식 중심으로 식생활 문화를 바꿔야 한다는 칭하이 무상사님의 말씀에 공감합니다. 에, 유기농이 생태적이고 생명을 살리고 기후변화에 가장 맞는 농법이라고 저는 확신하지만 많은 사람들이 아직도 그 중요성을 절감하지 못하고 있습니다. 저는 유기농업으로 전환한 후에 마음이 훨씬 평화롭다는 걸 느낍니다. 땅이나 생명체나 작물 모두가 건강하게 살아나는 느낌을 받으며 생명에 대한 존중감도 느낍니다. 모든 것을 살리는 유기농산물을 먹으면 평화와 공생이 삶이 되며 이는 미래를 위한 농법이자 식생활이라고 봅니다. 유기농법이 가지는 인간 내면적인 혹은 영적인 측면이 어떤 것이 있는지 말씀해 주시면 고맙겠습니다. Good question, Mr. Kim. Kamsamnida. Good question. Ah, uh, thank you so much for this thoughtful question. When you speak about organic farming and the earth, your love for living beings is very clear and evident. So you have already conveyed some of the inner spiritual aspect of organic farming through your deep care. That really is the most important principle, the love for all beings. But we can talk about it to perhaps uh, clarify a little bit more. Uh, of course, when we say organic farming, we are talking about vegan, yeah, fruit, vegetables, legumes, and all the plants only, eh? no animal product. Because this is clearly already indicate a spiritual high level of living standard. When we live and let live, when we love all beings as if we love ourselves, then that is already very highly spiritual. And of course, that is in line with all the greatest religions on earth. That will be very pleasing to heaven. This allows us more to completely extend our respect and care to all life. And that's why you feel more peaceful, you see? You feel more connected with the surrounding around you. Because they all pulsate with life. The earth is pulsating with love and life. The trees, the plants, they're pulsating all this love for life and life. When we sit under a tree, we feel this protective and love from the tree. When we enjoy a delicious fruit, we feel the connectedness of this unconditional love from the tree to offer us nutrition. And pleasing taste. If we are in the organic vegan trend or planting organic vegan farming method, then you will feel that more and more the love from nature, the love from the planet Earth, the love from the trees, 
the love from even a blade of grass, from flowers. We will feel so much love in the air that we breathe. We feel so much love from the earth that we walk on. This we cannot even explain in human language. We must feel it. I always feel it. But I can't transmit this uh, spiritual message to other people. Everyone must experience it for himself. Once we turn into a compassionate, heaven-intended lifestyle of a vegan diet, then we will feel more and more love, more and more connected all the time, just like the way you feel. So you have your own experience to speak of and to tell people. The way you describe organic farming, Mr. Kim, sounds quite like a spiritual principle known as ahimsa or non-violence. Ahimsa means not harming any sentient beings, beginning with a vegan diet. Organic vegan diet is the best. As we saw, so shall we reap. If we saw this benevolence seed on the earth as well as in our heart, as a vegan, we avoid all animal products. For example, most of the milk production causes suffering. First of all, because the babies of the mother cows are taken away at birth. Not many people know that, including myself before. And these babies' cows will soon be killed, deprived from mother's milk and mother's love, they'll be killed as soon as they're taken away. Then the mother is forcefully hooked up to a machine that can cause torment and pain along with illness, just so that humans can take her milk. Another example of a practice causing harm to both animals and earth is the use of chemical pesticides. If you can imagine, over 5 billion pounds of pesticides are used throughout the world each year. And only about 10%, 10% of these chemicals even reach the areas where they are intended for. So the rest, what happened? Huh? They go into the air and water where they have been linked to everything from cancer of human and animals to oceanic death zones. In Europe, one pesticide was found to be the reason uh, for billions of bees dying across the continent, while others are known to make the eggshells of birds become thinner, resulting in the death of their babies because the shells cracked and break before the baby is ready to be born. Since organic vegan farming does not use pesticides and does not have anything to do with livestock raising, milk production or any such harmful activity, it could be called a practice of compassion in line with heaven, with values that are echo in many spiritual paths and religious teachings, such as the follower of Buddhism and Confucianism. Uh, and it's uh, written in their scriptures. Like the Dhammapada Sutra states, a man is not noble because he injures living creatures. He is called noble because he does not injure any living beings. And uh, from the noble teaching of Confucianism, how does a saintly king treat animals? Is stated. He would like to see them live and cannot bear to see them die. Here in their wells, he cannot eat their flesh, for he does not have the heart to do so. I'm just referring to two of the great religions. Uh, in our world, uh, many other religions say the same. <laughs> but I'm not here to be a priestess today and uh, preach <laughs> to the whole audience. Uh, moreover, we don't have time. All right, so forgive me all the religions if I did not mention yours, but it's the same. Now, organic vegan farming also brings positive benefit to our own karma. Karma means the retribution, eh? Bad or good. So karma follows the law of the universe that says for every action there is an equal consequence. So 
if we injure or kill others, we could be injured or killed in return, sooner or later. Not could be, but surely be. Organic vegan farming, with its approach of causing the least harm to others, offers the least burden of bad karma. And we can even go a step further, only harvesting from plants that bear fruit are harvested in such a way that the plant continues to grow. It is thus much better to grow our own food as you do, Mr. Kim. So that we can, for example, pick the outer leaves of the lectus instead of killing the entire plant. In fact, some practitioners of one religion called Jainism don't even eat root vegetables because they wish to avoid unintentional harm to the beings living in the soil, such as earthworms, which are uh, beneficial to our farming. They are there to fertilize the soil, to air the soil, so that our plants grow better, our harvest will be more abundant. They risk their lives to save ours, we should even consider their lives and spare their lives and be protective of their lives. I thank you, Mr. Kim, for this question so that I have an opportunity not to inform you, but I guess to inform others who are not aware because I'm sure you are already aware of all this. Because it is just this level of human nobility and kindness that is needed for our own inner peace and for the earth to flourish once more. So please uh, continue your practice, Mr. Kim, and encourage others to do so. Uh, give them more information about how you do it and why you do it. And get as many people as possible to appreciate it. its merits the way you do. Uh, you can also feel free to download anything from SupremeMasterTV.com that might be helpful to you in making this message more clear to others. We have a section called Organic Farming, dedicated only to organic farming, to anyone who can log in and benefit from it. We need it, Mr. Kim. We need people like you. We need people who uh, distribute all the necessary information for organic farming. This is truly the way of the future. It is a way to our ultimate humanity and brotherhood among all beings on the planet. Bless you and all your future endeavors. Thank you. I thank you, Supreme Master Ching Hai, for your enlightening um, answer about organic farming. It was very touching. You're welcome. We have today's final question, again, for Supreme Master Ching Hai. And it comes from Mr. Kim Taesong, the Chief of Jeju Island Agenda 21 and Secretary General of Jeju YMCA. Welcome, sir. 저도 간단하게 코멘트와 제가 또 NGO 쪽에 대표로 있기 때문에 활동하기 때문에 NGO 이야기를 잠깐 드리겠습니다. 이제 오는 12월에 보면은 우리 저 덴마크 코펜하겐에서 그 기후 변화 회의가 열립니다. 이제 그 그리고 또 이제 기후 변화 그 협약이 체결되어지게 됩니다. 지구촌 시민의 한 사람으로서 이 대회의 성공을 바랍니다. 하지만 어, 예상보다 급속히 진행되는 기후 변화를 억제하기 위해서는 보다 진전된 노력이 필요하다고 판단되어집니다. 이런 진전된 노력이 현실로 만들어 가는 데에는 NGO의 역할이 크고 오늘 열리고 있는 이 컨퍼런스도 매우 의미가 있다고 생각되어집니다. 우리 NGO들이 더 적극적이고 신속하게 기후변화에 대응할 수 있는 좋은 조언이 있으면 해주시고 코펜하겐 회의에서 꼭 관철됐으면 하는 것이 있다면 말씀해주면 감사하겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 감사, 감사, <웃음> 감사합니다. Mr. Kim, thank you so much for your effort, particularly for this conference. It wouldn't have been this successful without you. The fact that all the audience still stay here because they felt your sincerity 
uh, yours and all the NGOs who organize this event, the audience felt your sincerity and your concern about Jeju and the world in uh, this crucial time. I am deeply also grateful to you and all the NGOs that have organized this event. I am happy that you asked this question concerning the Climate Change Conference. Are you going to attend? Yes? Good. Uh, please <laughs> convey some of uh, the message that we have heard today from the speech of the great scientists and uh, medical experts and climate change experts, etc. Please convey to the leaders there. Yes. You are also a leader in the NGO circle and I'm so honored to meet you. Bangap <laughs> Siom Nita. Uh, and I'm glad there is much enthusiasm and readiness for action on your part and the many NGOs present today or may not be present due to their busyness. The best way for NGOs to help is if all of you actively together encourage the number one solution, the number one and the most effective. That is the vegan diet to halt global warming because we don't have much time now to wait for the green technology to even take effect. Even then, the green technology also takes more time to even to install. So the veg diet is the number one because the meat industry emits the most heat-trapping greenhouse gas for our planet. And pollution even. More than 50%. Imagine, imagine if we eliminate more than 50% are harmful gas, then our planet at least cool off more than 50% almost immediately. And if we go into organic farming method and all the tillable land on the planet, if we use it all for organic farming, then that in turn also absorb 40% of the CO2 in the atmosphere as well. So all together combine this, we will cool the planet in no time. This is not anything mysterious or superstitious. It is all scientific, it's all proven, and it's all clear. So it is you and your talents uh, to organize, inform, and speak it out that I rely on to get the government's attention at the Copenhagen uh, climate change uh, meeting. Please, do your best. And the government can further amplify this solution after hearing you out. The NGOs know well how to start the constructive movement in the world. They are very, very essential and very important to our planet. All the NGOs are very, very important to humanity and to our survival as well, once they start the action. And at this point, it takes all the efforts and all the NGOs, governments, media, the public, every single individual to get involved. Our planet is a house that is burning. If we don't work together with United Spirit to put out the fire, we will not have a home anymore. 100% of the world's people must be veg soon to save the planet. I thank you and all the NGO leaders here today and the one absent who started the vegan initiative. Please do more. As for what I wish the Copenhagen conference to accomplish, uh, I wish what you wish. <laughs> I wish what everyone who cares about the planet wish. That all the leaders come together for the highest benefit to all humanity and animals and the environment. I wish they will gather not just as leaders, but as fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, and other concerned family members who truly wish to save their home for themselves and for their beloved ones. I wish they will all realize the urgent action needed to save this beautiful planet. 
With this kind of shared motivation, those gathered are more likely to be open to the real solution, which we all know is the organic vegan diet. We can keep the emission goals, but must expand them and prioritize them wisely. First and foremost, eliminate the single largest source of human-caused methane, namely livestock. Stop animal production. Then we will stop global warming. Very simple, because global warming is caused by animal product. That's it. Very simple, straightforward, nothing mystery, nothing difficult. Stop animal product, then we stop global warming. I can repeat that 10,000 times and I never feel that I have said it enough. Because to be honest, as the plants are going right now, we can't save the planet. I am so sorry. Not in time. Not in time. It will be too late the way we're doing now. It will be too late to save our world. But if we prioritize the vegan solution, be veg first, go green after we save the planet. Or a little bit slowly, because go green is too slow for the time that we have right now, for the urgent situation right now. So we have to be veg first. And that is also to go green at the same time. And then any other green technology we will have time to develop and install. First we have to survive. We cut down the number one cause of global warming. We have to eliminate animal product because we want to save the planet. Again, it really is so simple, yeah? And if it goes like this, we will have a saved world in no time. No animal products mean having the planet. And even a heavenly world we will have because being veg changes everything drastically from the environment to people mentality to the standard of our world and to having peace in the world to eliminate hunger to have brotherhood truly for humankind and we zoom it in it will change Jeju Island into the greenest and most brilliant state we could ever imagine as all corners of the earth. With temperatures stabilized, ecosystems balanced, animals thriving in peace and humans finding new health and happiness and incredible new inventions, our life will become a dream like heaven as never imagined before. Thank you Mr. Kim and thanks again all the NGOs. Thank you, Supreme Master Ching Hai, for all the amazing answers and for your precious time. We, the people of Jeju, are very much grateful uh, to you for accepting our invitation and supporting us so much, supporting our children, our natural beauty, and our shared future. Before closing this conference, uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai, would you like to share a final message for us, please? Gladly. <laughs> yes. I could sit here and talk forever about how to save our planet. But since every happy time must end, and you give me this privilege to close the meeting, <laughs> I would also, of course, would like to say Saraneyo Jiju. That means I love you, Jiju. I hope you understand my Korean. Saraneyo <laughs> Jiju. And I thank you from the depth of my heart for your sincere presence, for your passionate care about the earth, your precious participation and encouragement. I thank all of you, the precious specialists, the panelists, esteemed governor, eloquent speakers, media members, and all the caring audience members for your precious time and your divine presence. My appreciation again go to all the NGOs who organize 
this event, for your support and for making this meeting possible. And in such an organized, order, beautiful manner. For everyone present, I would like to say, your own voices have made it crystal clear that if we choose organic vegan as our solution, we can only win. Yes, we will win. Organic vegan is the healthy diet, which is the diet that calms the mind even. <laughs> and of course, will calm the climate, restore the green forest and harmony with all the animals. It's the diet that gives us peace of mind and frees our loving spirit. It's the diet that mentioned in all the great religious scriptures of the world. So please remember, we have only to lose meat and we will gain everything else. You have taken the first step by declaring to be organic vegan one day a week. All the beautiful, noble NGOs, <laughs> I thank you for that again. And now with this same courageous spirit, please be veg every day of the week. <laughs> oh, just another six days, yes. <laughs> and then next week, the same. And the same for next week, and the same for another week. One day at a time. One vegan day of the week. And the next day, another vegan day of the week. And the next day, another vegan day of the week. That is very simple. Because organic vegan is the only way we can save the planet. First be vegan, okay? If we can't find the organic vegetable or fruit, then please be vegan first. Because this positive, loving energy will envelop our planet, will be a protective shield for us. There's nothing else, no other green power can protect us in this crucial moment of danger. Please believe me. I have nothing to gain from telling you this. But I tell you because I'm one of you. Because my love doesn't know any boundary between me, myself, my family, or my country people all the people of Korea, or any other nationalities in the world. I love all people. I love all the beings on this planet. And I want to save you all. I want to save them all. Please wake up and wake everybody else up before our house is burnt down. Together, we will win. Together, we will save this planet. Not to save the planet for the sake of material existence, but because we save ourselves. We save our great self, which is compassionate, which is loving, which is merciful, which is godlike. All the scriptures of the religion tell us this, that we are the Buddha, that we can become Buddha as soon as we want, that we are the children of God. So we have to save our status as the greatest beings in the universe, the crowd of the creation. We must save our great quality, not just the planet, but ourselves, our heart, our nobility, our leadership on this beautiful uh, spaceship we call planet Earth. We are the captain. We must lead the planet into safety and save our soul, save the best qualities that we have within us. Together we can maintain not only the beautiful Jeju and all of South Korea as wonderful paradise, but we will also save the whole world. You will all become heroes. You will all be my heroes. Please be veg. Go green. Love can change the world. Thank you. Kamsa Amnida. Be veg, go green. Do good deed. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you all.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Supreme Master Ching Hai. From all of us here, we wish you the very best. And we would like to once again thank all of the wonderful NGOs that organized this conference. And our special thanks to Supreme Master Television, with headquarters in Los Angeles, USA, and inspired by Supreme Master Ching Hai, Supreme Master Television has been airing constructive programming for the world from 14 satellite platforms about climate change issues, the vegan lifestyle, love of animals, and humanitarian works. And all the beautiful content is free of charge. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another warm applause for Supreme Master Television. Now, before we close the conference, I got a question for you, Grace. Have you seen this photo? <laughs> Recently, yes, a uh, German elementary school student named Felix uh, visited Korea. What he did was he gently covered the mouth of His Excellency, the Korean Prime Minister, Han Sung Su. And this was to deliver his message, please no more talk, take action. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, we would like to close this conference with a similar call for action. Today we discussed how to save the planet and keep our children healthy. But we can only change the world if we are willing to change our lifestyles, starting right now. Maybe even this evening. Yes. And by adopting a vegan diet, we preserve the health of not only our children, but also this beautiful planet. So ladies and gentlemen, tell us how you feel. Do you want to save the planet for all the beautiful children in the world? If you do, please say yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do it. <laughs> and can we do it? Yes, we can. All right. And how can we save the planet for the, our children? Be veg, go green, save the planet. Be veg, go green, save, save the, the planet. planet. One yes. more time. Be veg. Go green. Save the planet. All right. Great, great people, great people. Let's do it. Let's all become vegans and let's encourage everyone we know to be veg too. And this concludes the conference. We thank you all for your magnificent presence. And thank you all the cherished viewers from around the world. We're all right. proud of you. Come Samida. Come Samida. Bye bye. Bye. Wish you all the best of the best. Be best, go green, do good deeds.